What's up guys, it's me your badass host Draven and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so uh, yes, I am here in the wild area in the nighttime guys because I kind of want to do this before we progress and I, I, I really do want to take advantage of it right now uh, because, you know, off screen later on I'm going to be doing a lot of training right here and uh, well, let's see, hold first is first, let's go ahead and uh, fix this up. Um, so I got two Pokemon right here that are on the verge of evolving, one of them being Kiss, and Kiss can only evolve in the nighttime. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing right here, and uh, well, let's see, we're going to be giving them experience candies right here, just to make sure it evolves in the nighttime, because I only, I'm only assuming nighttime will only appear in the wild area, as you probably already noticed, we were in uh, Stow Inside, and it was already daytime. It doesn't really tell. So here it is at level 35, nighttime. And there it is, guys. We are finally evolving our good old buddy, Kiss. Definitely a Pokemon I wanted to have right here. Look at that. Obstagoon. Oh my god. And it's looking brutal. Brutality. Look at that. So here it is, the blocking Pokemon, Obstagoon. Both normal and dark type. 5'3", 101 pounds of pure brutality. Its voice is staggering in volume. Obstagoon has a tendency to take on threatening posture and shout. This move this move is new, is known as Obstruct. Okay, and well, I guess it's going to learn Obstruct right here, right? Nope, scary face. I uh, don't want to learn it right now. Okay, so that in, and it wants to learn Obstruct. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what Obstruct is. And... This move enables the user to protect itself from all attacks. Its chance of failing rising rises if it is used in succession. Direct contact, direct contact harshly lowers the attacker's uh, the attacker's stat uh, defense. Okay, so I am definitely gonna use this, and I'm gonna switch Lick out for this one because it's a it's a win-win situation. You can only use it like you can you can use it once if you want to, and well, there it is. Obstagoon has evolved and. Let's go ahead and evolve Shadow Blade right here. Let's go ahead and give it, uh, let's give it three rare candies. And it's at level 36. And it wants to learn Drill Peck. So this is another great move that it can actually learn. And I'm actually going to teach it in front, instead of a Furia attack. And there we go. I think it evolves at level 38. So let's go ahead and give it two, three more. And just like that, it's at level 38. And there it is, guys. We are evolving our good old buddy Shadow Blade. Now, in the last walkthrough that I did in this version, I never got to evolve Shadow Blade. And, well, I could use it right here. So, say hello to Corvin Knight, the Steel and Flying type Pokemon right here. Look at this. Second Steel and Flying type Pokemon that I've had. It's the Raven Pokemon. 7365 pounds. Of you know pure metal and all that stuff. This Pokemon reigns supreme in the skies of the Gala region. The black luster of, of its steel body could drive terror in the heart of any foe. A very good Pokemon to actually have, and it's learning Steel Wing finally. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take away something right here. It does have Power Trip. I'm definitely gonna switch that out right here. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna switch out moves here and there. Uh, Another thing, too, guys, don't get so used to seeing all these Pokemon right here because, well, you know, we might make switches here and there just for the good, the better of our team. And, well, that is that. We have a fully evolved team except for Dreep, uh, Dreepzilla. So let's go straight to Stow Inside and take care of the little situation. So, anywho, in the last episode, we actually won our fourth badge, the Fighting Type Gym Leader. And, uh,. Well, our girlfriend Sonia had asked us, or has asked us to come uh, visit her near a mural. Now, we've felt an explosion of some sorts. So, let's go right ahead and find her. Let's find uh, let's find our girlfriend Sonia right here. And there she is. How? Look at that. And before we do anything, grab this. Found ourselves a max revive. Talk to her. And what's going up on there? Or what's going on up there? Something is going on, and everybody's just looking, and, uh, well, it is our turn to find out, and look at that. It's Bead. Destroy it! Destroy it all! We're going to find those wishing stars! Raj! We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if you want to uh, please him. 
Kapuraja. If you're real, if you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful and, uh, for this chance to help me, help him find the wishing stars. And well, we need to stop this guy. So let's go right ahead and switch out Pokemon right here. Um, let's go ahead and use Kiss first. I want to use Kiss, okay? Because Kiss is a pretty awesome Pokemon right here. Oh my, you again. So you think you can start collecting wishing stars now and get the chairman's favor? That's the way things, uh, or that's the way of things. It is, or is it? I see you have a uh, you have something cunning in you, but I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. And here we go, another Pokemon battle against this guy right here, Trainer Bead, uh, the trainer that who I actually thought was a girl at first. So here he comes out with a Duosion. And here we come with Kiss, fully evolved. Oh yes, Night Slash. Yes, because uh, you know they're all Psychic type Pokemon. So here we go, Night Slash for the win. Duosion defeated. Okay, alrighty. There we go. And <laughs> yeah, he he's definitely not like. Seriously, you're getting your butt kicked, and you're still you're still down in our power right here, man. It's you, you, how dense are you? How dense can you be? Anywho, here comes Hat Hatrim, and as many of you guys already know, I've already had my issues with Hatrim. And we gotta go straight for a Night Slash. And this one will take care of Hatrim, thankfully. Uh, by the way, because, well, yeah, we didn't yeah, we, we didn't have uh, any kind of luck against that. And we're gonna continue on a gear. And uh, look at that, a Ponyta. Galarian Ponyta is a Pokemon I have my eyes on. I don't want to know if I could use it or anything. Comment down below if you think it's a very good idea to switch out any of my Pokemon for a Galarian Ponyta. And if that's the case, guys, tell me which Pokemon to switch out. Trust me, I am going to... I'm going... I'm trying to... I'm probably going to make a switch by the time we defeat uh, our next gym leader right here. And here comes a Gotharita. Okay, and I have to win for the chairman. Do you really want to... I think... Uh, okay, yeah, I'm not going to read that. So, here we go, Gotharita. And, well, let's go again with another Night Slash right here. And Night Slash does its trick right there. Look at that. Holy crud. Yes, they are not feeling it. And, well, just like that, our Pokemon are growing levels. And, well, <laughs> this has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. No, you're not getting no do-over whatsoever. You're just going to take that L right there. And, but why? How could this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was the chosen, or I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was uh, to defeat the champion. I'm the one, uh, I'm one of the elite, someone who can shoulder the future of the Gal region. Challenger Bead. Uh oh, he's in trouble. Oh my god. I wonder what you were up to when you asked to borrow the Chairman Rose's Kapuraja. I can't believe you tried to use uh, the chairman's Pokemon to destroy a, a historical site. Who cares for some ancient ruin when the, when the next thousand years are, are at stake? Did you stand in the path of the Pokemon's simple beam or something? How do you expect to support the chairman with that sort of uh, thinking? Looks down and he's like, young bead. It pays me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. It's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw a talent in you. You reminded me a little bit about my, or a little bit of me or myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a to a trainer school to give you a chance at success. But trying to destroy a mural, part of Galler's history, you show no love towards Galler. You are clearly not worthy a, a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. Oh, damn. Okay, so <laughs> he's laying down the hammer. Guys, get it? Hammer? Hammerlock? <laughs> Anywho, you, you must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge? But you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways we could uh, sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Challenger Bead, I will be taking those wishing stars that you have gathered. Uh-oh, he's about to be dragged all over Galar. <laughs> That's right, all of Galar. Okay, so after all of that, 
Ah, Sonya and Draven too. Terrible shame, all of this. A absolute disaster. I never wish to see us uh, lose Challenger for this sort of reason. Yet, yeah, we do have, we do must, uh, or we must keep, uh, or what the heck? Yet, yeah, we do what we must do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. Well, whatever you say, homeboy. And well, you know, during one of Bede's matches, I heard an announcer say that Bede has no family. Apparently, it was uh, Rose who took Bede under his wing, and so Bede was battling for the chairman's sake. Hmm. What an alternative events. I hope the mural, uh, the mural survived all of that. Hmm. It should. But wait. Uh oh. Uh oh. And oh. Huh. So yeah. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Hmm. It all makes sense now. She looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Anywho. That right there is a pretty cool mural. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us of, about Galar's legends? Sword and shield. Right. More than any hero, there are those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Anything else looks interesting to you? Uh, well, the hero. Ah, good observation. There are really two heroes, but if that's the case, then why are, why only the one statue at the Budu drop in? Hmm. More than any statue of, of a hero or old tapestry, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show as uh, must show us the true the real truth, which means uh, the shield is a Pokemon, the sword is a Pokemon. I'm just gonna put sword is a Pokemon. Yep, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like at one po uh, some point in history, the po uh, the sword and shield were combined with uh, two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history. Two young trainers, the sword and shield were actually Pokemon, but why would the truth of uh, these runes be hidden uh, when their stories were depicted in artwork? Hmm, that is a good question. With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks, I'll give you a couple of these uh, so you keep uh, giving uh, giving it your best in the gym challenge uh, too, okay? Guess you'll be headed to Bologna. Bologna next, right? Yes, we will. Two revives, and well, just like that, we get uh, a few more revives right there, and well, that is that right there, guys. Huh. Very interesting. So, that was a, uh, that was pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty fantastic, and well, it is true. We're going to be going to Balloonia next. Balloonia. Get it, Balloonia? Like, ball and all that crud. So, yeah. Uh, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going into Bologna or the forest right here. And we're going to be trying to capture a little bit more Pokemon. Trying to level up our Pokemon and all that stuff. And gain our fifth badge. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at the town map right here. So, the next place we have to go to is Bologna right here. But we're going to go straight into the Glimwood Tangle. And, uh... Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be an interesting uh, turn of event right there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. What, what, what we need to do right here. So, thank you guys again for watching. Uh, stay tuned. The next episode, Glimwood Tangle. See you guys.